I got a devotion this morning on how's your relationship with God? How close are you to God? Um, James chapter 4. Verse 8, it says, Come near to God, and He will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, purify your hearts. So, in verse 7, it talks about us submitting ourselves. Verse 6 says that, But He gives us more grace. God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. And in this time that, in this time that we're at, we have to draw close to God, like never before. We have to draw close to our Father that's in heaven. So, let me open up in a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. We thank you, uh, Lord, for waking us up. We thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Father, we come before you, Lord, and we ask that you would forgive us of our sins, that you'd wash us and cleanse us, that you would purify our hearts, that we're in right standings with you, Lord God. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for the mercy and grace, Lord, that you you have given us father we thank you for your word we thank you lord for everything that you have done in this month of november so father we just thank you in jesus name amen so we gotta draw we gotta draw close to the lord we gotta draw near to him and if you, if you approach God, if you seek God, and you praise God, and you worship God, and you pray to the Lord, He comes near to you. And He tells us, you know, how to approach Him. He tells us that we approach Him in humility. We approach God with respect with awe and we can't go before our Lord having friendship with the world in the book of James that's what it talks about it talks about making that decision to serve the Lord making that decision to follow God to cut your ties with the things of the world us as believers, those that accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we have to make that decision to crucify this flesh. See, God wants us to be a people that are not in sin, that are not wicked. As the Word of God says, you know that He wants to bring a healing to this nation. He wants to bring a healing within our families, within our, within our, even within ourselves. And we have to seek the Lord. We have to seek him while he could still be found. And we seek the Lord through prayer. We seek the Lord through prayer and there's a scripture here in, in 1 John chapter 5, 14. As we seek the Lord, we have to seek the Lord like this. It says, this is the confidence that we have approaching God. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have, that we ask of him. You know, and I don't know about you, but um, I need to ask of the Lord. I need God's mercy. I need God's grace. I need God's wisdom. I need God's direction. Not only one day, but every day. 
You know, I got to be in communication with the Lord. As I draw close to God and he draws close to me, as I'm in prayer and I'm, I'm as in his word, there is change. There's transformation. There's a renewed mind. He removes uh, certain things out of our lives when we're in prayer, as we approach the uh, we approach the Lord, you know, with his confidence. And we need to seek the Lord more than ever in this time. Let me ask you a question. How's your relationship with the Lord? How's your relationship with God? Have you got cold? Have you have are you distant from him? Are you away from the Lord? Do you feel that he is not there? See the are you, are you irritated? Are you angry? See the evidence of of you being close to God, being close with the Lord Jesus, close to the spirit is that you're not that irritated when it comes to things. You're not that angry when it comes to things that are happening in, in your life. You are humble. You're a humble, you're a humble person. You're a person that, that, that's in the spirit and not in the flesh. And God has called us to be people that are humble, people that are holy, people that have a relationship with the Lord. And see, that's the difference between having a religion and having a relationship with God. That once you have a relationship with God, there is change. Not only in your life, but the life of others. When you have this intimate relationship with your Lord, when you have this intimate relationship with Jesus, Is it is evident, you know, as the as they were praying on the mountain, and they came down, it, it was evident that they were with the Lord because they, they they were shining for God, and that's how we are when when we're in prayer, when we're in the presence of God. It is evident, and. We have to continue seeking the Lord, not only just for ourselves, but for our families, for our friends, for our neighbors, our co-workers, for the lost. If God has called you out of darkness into the light, he wants us to have a relationship with him. Just as we have a relationship with our wives, our husbands, our children, our brothers, our sisters, our family, God wants us to have a relationship with him. And God's perfect plan from the very beginning was for us to have a relationship with him, to be close to him. And the separation of us with God if you're asking yourself, have I got cold? Am I distant from God? Am I away from the Lord? It always boils down to this. It is sin. It, it is things in your life that keeps you away from God. And God is so faithful that he gives us, he gives us mercy that we're able to, to ask for forgiveness. He gives us grace and we don't deserve it. God is so faithful. He is a, a loving God. And we have to build our relationship with our Lord in these times that we're living in. Hallelujah. I thank God I thank God for choosing me. 
I am so grateful for my salvation. I am so grateful for his keeping power. I am so grateful for everything that God has given me. So now I have to seek the Lord. I have to continue building my relationship with him. I have to seek the word. I have to seek the scriptures. I have to build my faith. And the Bible tells us that in uh, Hebrews uh, 12, 2, that we have to fix our eyes on Jesus. He is the, the, the pioneer, the perfecter of our faith. He is the author of life. And if, we're, if we expect to run this race for the long haul, you have to run this race with the Lord. You can't run this race and, and, and think that you're going to make it in this world without God, without Jesus, without the Holy Spirit, without God's word, without pastors and leaders and, and, and brothers and sisters, without having somebody there to encourage you. Having someone there to correct you. And that's what the Lord does. When you have a relationship with God. He starts doing a work in your life. He starts doing a surgery. He starts removing things out of your life that don't need to be there. And he doesn't force you to do this. He convicts you through his Holy Spirit. And through his word. And out of obedience. Out of our obedience. And out of our conviction, we surrender them to God. There's going to come a time that the Lord is going to call us up in, up, in, up in the air. There's going to come a time when he sounds a trumpet. There's going to come a time... If we're asleep and if we're not awake, we're going to miss it. If you love God and you've confessed God and you accepted Jesus in, into your life and you are a follower of Christ, draw close to God. Draw close to Him. Ask Him. That's what I did in my life. I asked the Lord and I continue asking the Lord. Change me, Lord. Draw me close to you, Father God. Minister, Lord. He is the potter and we are the clay and he wants to mold us and he wants to change us. In this life, we're, we're going to go through some things. But God is with us. He won't ever leave us nor forsake us. God, you know, the, one of the greatest things that, that, that I could say is that I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And, you know, I'm so grateful for answering the call, for serving the Lord. And, and I, I thank God for, for sending uh, my wife Desiree, the family that... that, that that I married into, all the blessings that God, all the blessing that God has given me. And I remember there was a time there in the beginning of my walk with the Lord where I was distant from God. I wasn't close to God. I got cold in my relationship with God. And I walked away from the Lord. And it boils down back to sin our desires. But I desire to draw close to God. And I thank God for uh, Pastor David, Pastor Donna. I thank God for my wife's grandma, uh, Irene, my father-in-law, Henry, Esther, the family, the prayer groups, the pastors, everyone that was praying. And I wind up in the home. And I I do believe, you know, being in the home, I drew close to the God. 
I was put in a place where I was just saturated with the word, being in the presence of God. So today I just, you know, if you find yourself distant, cold, away from the Lord, ask the Lord to remove whatever it is that is the blockage. And if there's something that you know, well, I'll shout out a doubt, surrender to the Lord, give it to God. Do whatever it takes for you to build that relationship with God, to be on fire for the Lord, to be excited for the Lord, to do the Lord's work, to tell everybody about Jesus, what Jesus did in your life. So today is a new day. Approach the throne room of God with all confidence, with all boldness. God is faithful. He has given you everything you need in this life. He has given you the Bible. He has given you the word. He has given you some of you guys a wife. He's given you the Holy Spirit. Husbands, helpers, pastors, leaders, brothers, sisters. God has set us up so good. Draw close to God today. Like never before. If you will live this last day today. If, this, if you will live your life. If it was like your last day. How would you live it? Would you live for the Lord? Live for your family? Or you just live for yourself in the world? And there are going to come a day. That we're going to go before God. Judgment day. You know many fear. And I'm going to end with this. Many fear men, many fear COVID and other diseases, many fear death, but the fear that we need is the fear of the Lord and that's having reverence for God, not for man, not, not being scared of man or fear of man. Well, man. What can man do to us? Well, remember what the Lord could do to us. And Lord loves us. And he says that none should perish, but come to repentance. Come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And if you find yourself today away from God, if you allowed something in your life, within your family, within your home, guess what? It's time to kick the thing out. It's time to let go and let God. Repent. Renounce. Turn away. And go sin no more. Because God is good. And he is a good God. Jesus is good. Jesus loves you. Jesus loved you so much. That he died on the cross for you. And he shed his blood. And he took all the sins of the world. And he took it upon his body. And before he went on the cross. 39 slashes on his back. He took the pain the sorrows, the hurts, the betrayal. He took everything on him. And by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. We are redeemed, set apart with a new mind, with a new heart, new spirit, new creations. Hold on to the promises of God. And that's how you continue walking this walk with the Lord does not matter what's going on in this world. It does not matter what happens to you in this world. But well, God will see you through. So today, I just want to pray real quick. And just repeat this prayer. If I, and say, you know what? I, I've, I've been away from the Lord. Maybe I don't know the Lord. However, whatever it is. Or maybe you are close to God. And you want to draw closer to Him. See? Draw closer to Him. Draw closer to him. And anger, frustration, sin, that, that will be distance. And God will be closer. So today, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Father, we ask, Father, 
once again, Father, that you would forgive us of our sins, Father. We open our hearts to you, God. You are our Lord. You are our Savior. You are our Redeemer. You have set us apart for such a time as this. God, draw us close to you, Lord, like never before, Father. God, we want to be so in tune, so walking in the Spirit, Father. God, Lord, we want to be on fire for you, Lord, Father God. We all want to be contagious, God, for you, Lord God. We want to be used of you, Lord God. But, Father, we want your presence, God, to be in our homes, Father. To be in our workplace, God. Wherever we go, Father, Lord, that the presence of the Lord is with us, Father. God, we thank you, God, for your mercy and your grace, Father. Father, as long as we have breath, God, today, Father, it's not too late, God. It's never too late for change. It's never too late, my God, to be molded and changed. Father, we renounce, Father, God, anything, God, any sin, Father, any door that we have open, Father, God, that's not of you, God. We ask it that you will close it in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, I claim, God, right now, my God, Lord, those, my God, are backsliders, Father. Those that have walked away from you, Father God. Lord, that you would draw them close to you, Father God, like never before, Father. Father, we ask this in the name of Jesus, God. We claim their souls, Father. The prodigals, Father, that are out there, God. Those, my God, that are complicating suicide, Father, we, we bind the enemy, Father. We come against suicide, God. We come against the drug addiction, alcohol addiction, God, in Jesus' name, Father. Anything that would draw us close to you, Father, the love of money, Father, pride, Father. We humble ourselves, God, before your throne, God, today. In the name of Jesus, Father. And by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed and we are whole, Father. We love you. We thank you, Lord. That we could draw close to you, Father. That Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And there's no other way to the Father but through Jesus. We have that access. And Father, we just thank you, God. Can we praise the Lord today? Can we give the Lord the highest praise in Jesus' name? And just know that God is in control. And the other way drawing close to God is through worship and praise. As you worship the Lord, as you lift up your hands and you say, man, God, here I am. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you, you know, dance unto the Lord. For he is faithful and he is just. Just praise him. Put on worship music. Change, change the atmosphere in your home. Just praise him right now. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Amen. Right now, there's breakthroughs going on. Breakthroughs, healings taking place. Renewing of the minds in Jesus' name. I speak life. People are giving their lives to the Lord right now. Come forward to the Lord. He wants your heart. He wants you. He wants to forgive you. You have the victory in the Lord. You are victorious. You are the head and not the tail. You are blessed. He thought of you even before you were even born. Fulfill what God has called you to do. Draw close to God. Praise Him. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. For everything that has breath, praise Him. He is worthy of all praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Continue uh, praising the Lord. Um, this time of devotion. Um, James, uh, let me go over the scriptures real quick. James chapter 4, verse 8, Hebrews 4, 16, 1 John 5, 14 through 5, Hebrews 12, 2. And just draw closer to God like never before. Build that relationship with God. Be blessed. Know that we love you. 
Uh, there's a lot of things that are going on in our ministry. Go on our website, uh, New Beginnings Community Ministries. Uh, we're also on YouTube and on Facebook, New Beginnings Community Ministries. We have a men's home and a women's home. If you want help, if you need any assistance, we have a food bank also. There's a lot of things going on in, in, in our ministry. And come join us. Come join us on Sunday at 10 a.m. And there's a few things cha changing in our ministry uh, as we're or starting to open up. Um, but know that you're not alone. And you could always contact me, message me. Those that know me, you could call me, text me, my wife, my family. We are here praying for you, our pastors. And we're just a ministry that loves people. So be blessed and know God's in control. We love you. We, in Jesus' name, amen.